As lockdown in Wales continues to ease, outdoor gyms, playgrounds, funfairs and community centres have all been given the green light to get back into action. Safety measures should be expected across the board, including strict hand hygiene, social distancing, time and capacity limits and face coverings where appropriate. Different venues or activities may have different rules in place, so do allow for extra time, whatever you're getting up to. It's up to individual councils whether they reopen their facilities, so do check before travelling. Rules such as only one adult being allowed to accompany children whilst visiting the playground and banning food and drink whilst at facilities could be a possibility. From the 27th of July, cinemas, museums, galleries, beauty salons and tattoo studios will be allowed to open. If the rate of transmission remains low, indoor areas of pubs and restaurants can welcome back customers from the 3rd of August. In Wales, around 130,000 people who are deemed most at risk of coronavirus have been shielding. If you are shielding, this will come to a head on the 13th of August, meaning people in at-risk groups will be able to go to work, school or the shops. These measures continue to be under review, with changes expected should the transmission level rise. This month, Wales has seen seven days when no coronavirus-related deaths were recorded at all, in what is hopefully a positive sign of things to come. Health Minister Vaughan Gething wants to remind people that COVID-19 is still present in Wales and necessary precautions must be upheld. He has warned there's a danger that we have too optimistic an outlook, as if everything will be fine when the risks are still here today and we need to manage those risks as we go into the autumn and winter in particular. The Welsh Government has now stopped their daily announcements. They will now be held weekly on Tuesdays.